is Jim Bob. This here's Clint. And this is the Whiskey Drinkers, buddy. That's right. And what we got today is another review for you. Oh, man. Now, this here, can I borrow your knife? Yes, you can. Here, you want to use this? I'll use that one. This here is something that I heard about at the liquor store. And I figured, I don't know what it is. I'm going to give this a shot. So, I had to order this because the damn liquor store didn't care. This says contains alcohol, so yeah, well, it'll be something right good. This. What else does it say on there? Uh, Special delivery instructions. This package contains alcohol. Adult signature required. Check ID. Shipper must be at least 21 years old. Blah, blah, blah. We're, we're about 21. Yeah, we're close. Now, this here is oh. ordered from a company called Wine Anthology. Is that in America? Um, I think so. But what they do is they order you shit from pretty much wherever you want. Now, That's pretty cool. Some interesting foam shit there. And here it is. I was wondering. You ready for this? I think. Are you ready for this? I don't know. Here we go. Boom! Oh man. That Vikings looks Vikings blood. Mythical. Now this here, as you can see, is Viking blood mead. I mean, blood's only spelled with one O, so that's uh... So I guess it's Viking blood. That's real old. Dansk Majors? Well, I don't know. Man, wow, that O has a line through it. Yeah, it does. Well, maybe you don't pronounce the O then. It might be. I don't know. Nordic honey wine with hibiscus and hops added. What's hibiscus? Hibiscus, I think, is a flower. Oh. I don't have it. Right there, taking it out, it's got a little bit of sweat on the bottle there. Man, that thing looks that nice. Is a, that is a nice bottle. That's a it's nice a, bottle. It's got like a texture to it. We've got us a cork. Oh, man. It's got a little seal thing on top there. Pretty damn nice. That looks like the real deal right there, buddy. Now, here's what's impressive about this. Mead usually only comes in what? 10, 12, maybe 15%. Yep. Right here, 19%. Oh, man. 750 milliliter ball. Let's see, based on a rep recipe from about year 1700. That's a long time. So this is some old shit right that here. That is. Now there's some stuff on the back here. Uh, let's see, uh, serving suggestion. Serve slightly chilled in a wine glass as a ap ap aperitif. Ap ap Appetizer? No, aperitif, I think. Ap or over ice with fruits, at room temperature, and a port wine glass, whatever the hell, port wine glass, blah, blah. Anyway, it's got a bunch of old stuff. Yeah, it's got all kinds of information on the back there, yeah, too. You want to read the story well, about that? Well, not really, but. Go ahead. All right, well, the world's oldest fermented beverage made with honey has been a popular drink from Europe to Australia, dating back to long before the Viking times. One of the earliest references of, to fermented honey can be found in the Hindus. Indian holy books and Veda books, which date back 4,000 years and possibly even earlier than that. 4,000 Four, years? That's a long God time damn. ago. The oldest known recipe of for mead to be written down in the Nordic countries was in 1520. 1520? That's a long damn time ago. Damn. By the Archbishop Auglis Magnus, the recipe was comprised of water, honey, hops, and brewer's yeast, and concludes that on the eighth day it may be drunk but so you gotta let it sit oh but the longer it's left the purer and the better it will be um and then it says about their products but this right here they i guess what they try to do is make this from that old recipe yeah. and this is the closest thing you can get to 1950 1500 1700s yeah this is a long time that is that's well, official I really like this bottle. We've had a lot of meads on this show. We have had about three. I but, really uh, like this bottle. That looks real. Well, let's crack her open. There's a little red thing here you pull. Oh, we don't even need a knife for that. I don't even need a knife. Just pull that. Take some plastic oh, off. Oh, man. I'm excited. You ready? I'm listen, ready. Listen for it. Oh, oh there's that there she is. Look at that bottle. Oh, wow. The bottle's cold. Now, how much did this cost here? Uh, whoo. Let me smell take that. Take a whiff of that. This here whew. was... We shipping and everything. I think it was like thirty-three bucks, thirty-four. Now where was this shipped from? Um, I think this came from Denmark, the country. Damn, Denmark! You paid thirty dollars for that. That's not a bad deal. That's the oldest wine you can wow. probably find. That's got some smell to it. Well, it says they use a chilled wine glass, but we're gonna use shot glasses. Pick your we're poison. Whiskey drinkers. Well, let's get this. I'll pour you first. Oh man! Oh, I'll pour me first. I'm scared to see what it looks like. Does it look like blood? Now, is this actual Viking blood? Probably not. But does it look like it? No, it don't. Oh, that looks potent. Oh, Woo! Man, I'm a little scared of that. Uh, pour me as much as you want. So, if you look at it, you can't really see through the shot glass, but I'd say that's that looks like a, a honey made. Uh, what color do you think that is? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's 
got a hue to it. Of... Yeah, it's got a little pinkish to it. Why'd you give me a little pussy shot? Uh, what is this? I'm not, try I'm not trying to skim me, Jim Bob. It's just you don't have an appreciation for the finer. I do. I do. When, it, when it's 8 and 19 percent alcohol, I do. All right. Some mead wine right here. Oh, man. Let's give this a try. The smell? You can smell. You can smell the hops in it. Oh, man. This seems like it's been fermenting in a barrel oh. for 25 years. You ready? Maybe ready. sip. Don't, sh don't shoot this. Really? Yeah, just sip it. Woo! Oh, good Lord. Oh, God. Damn. Man. Jim Bob. I can't help it. I can't babysit. Oh, man. Woo! Oh. That's good. That is good. Wow. Hey, hey, right right away, as soon as that went down the hatch, that made me feel like I might be a Superman. Some type of super superhuman power pick person that's going to run around and save the world. There is no bite to that at all. Like, you don't have any of that alcohol bite? Oh, man. That's good. Hmm. Oh, man. It hits you in the boo-boo, though. Woo! I want to take a girl on a date and change her life. That's how that makes me feel. Right there is something else. Whew. That's pretty good. You can definitely taste the alcohol. Man, like, I want to wield a battle that's, axe. Honestly, it, it's like a whiskey. It is. It, it's like it a rise, really good aged whiskey. The other mead we had was more like a wow. a pussy little uh, drink, side drink. This right here is like a real man's drink, let me tell you that. That is a man's drink. Hey, think about it. If a Viking did have blood and you could drink it, that's what it would taste that's, like right That's there. what it would taste Whew. like right there. Whew. Like a man. Wow. No, I, I agree. I shouldn't have shot that whole thing because uh, the flavor is enough. You want to keep tasting that flavor, and I imagine that's all he's going to give me. Probably. Because he knows how I get. So, if I had to rate that on a scale between one to five bottles, that's getting mm, a six for man. me. That's real shit right there. Yeah, that. If you are an alcohol drinker and you're not drinking for taste per se, you want yep. something that's going to get you messed up. It's going to yep. get you there. That's going to get you. That's going to get you there, buddy. If you're drinking for taste, you can't go wrong with that either. I mean, good God tasting. damn, that's good. It's good tasting. Um, it's not gonna kill you like shooting a whiskey. I think my tongue's kind of numb. Yeah. Wow. Them Vikings sort of had some crazy that. blood. Mm. I'm yeah, six bottles right there. Six bottles. Six damn bottles. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. We've only had three types of mead on the show. You've had more, right? Cause I'm doing this whole mead thing. Ooh, that is impressive shit right there. I feel a little bit loopy, I must say. My, my tongue kind of feels numb. Yeah, I mean, we were drinking all day, but this really hit hit that spot. Wow. Man, that bottle, you could really bring that to a party and people would be like, where the hell did you find yeah. that at? Now, that's definitely something you don't want to just be slamming it because... It's true, I regret that's slamming That's going to hurt that. you. That's some real You want to savor the flavor on that. And this is based on wow. a recipe from about year 1700. So they're not messing. This is a real recipe from back in the day. This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no American bullshit trying to dilute it. That's right. Well, right there you have Ooh. Viking blood. 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 My Viking blood. Viking blood. Woo. Ah, man. I'm not even going to say anymore. I'm kind of speechless. I'm not even going to say anymore. Get yourself a bottle. You really? Anything we've wow. ever said on here, you need to get yourself this. It's about 30 bucks. About, about 35, 40 Send it bucks, from Denmark like or something. Is that where you said right, Yeah, something like that. That's where it's made anyway. Well, whew. All right, well, that's all I had to say about it. Yeah. Six bottles right there. Can we drink some more of that? Yeah, have some more. Have another oh, shot. Oh, boy. Well, until next time. All right. We'll, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Well, I'm going to take